Welcome to our live training session here with our 2004 Honda Civic Si. We're going to learn how to calibrate this vehicle using a Honda Decay Pro system. Let's jump into some details about our vehicle. Now we're going to find that this particular vehicle has a K24 engine swap. The K24 engine was rebuilt before it was put into the car. It has 12 and a half to one compression pistons and aftermarket rods. In addition to this, it has aftermarket valve train with stock camshafts, but we fitted the engine with a 50 degree VTC wheel. In addition to this, we also have an upgraded oil pump from an RSX Type S. On the intake side of things, we have a Skunk 2 Ultra Street intake manifold, the 74 mil throttle body, and a custom intake. Now on the exhaust side of things, we have a PLM header with a custom two and a half inch header back exhaust on the vehicle. On our fuel system side of things, we have RDX 410cc injectors, an upgraded in-tank fuel pump, and we also have fitted the vehicle with a flex fuel sensor and we're gonna be doing a flex fuel tune. Now in addition to all of this, we have a fuel pressure sensor that's been fitted to the vehicle. We also have an AM X series wideband that we've wired into the K-Pro that we're gonna be utilizing the closed loop functionality for doing our tuning process. We have a lot of things to cover. We're going to be first starting off here on 93 octane and learning how we're going to build our base calibration file. So let's jump into our live training tutorial and learn the base map calibration process. Welcome to our live training session here with our K24 swapped Honda Civic Si. Now we just went over all the details and modifications that have been done to the vehicle. Let's jump into our K manager software so we can begin creating our base file from scratch so that we can have a good starting point for the tuning and calibration process in the next few tutorials. This is always going to be the step that you have to take when you start to begin tuning with your Honda K Pro. If you don't have any base files already, then you have to create it. So we're gonna learn how to do that creation here from start to finish in this tutorial. Let's jump in here to the K Manager software, and what we're gonna do here is move right up into the upper left-hand corner of the screen under New Calibration. Under New Calibration here, we're gonna be selecting the file type and the file that we wanna work with from the Honda Auto Base Map directory. So in this case, this particular vehicle still is using the factory EP3 ECU, which is a PNF style ECU. What we're gonna do is load a PRB-based calibration file, which is suited to the 02-04 to RSX. We're gonna take that specific calibration file and load it in here to our PNF ECU. Now, the calibrations are interchangeable, so you can load a P PRB into a PNF ECU or a PNF into a PRB. We usually wanna go and start off with a PRB-based file. In fact, that's what I always do, whether it's an S2000, a D17, or going here with EP3 and dialing everything in here with the K24 engine. The PRB-based files are the most developed from Honda, meaning they have the most features and functions found within that file, so we definitely wanna work with this. There's really no reason to not use a PRB-based file. So let's jump in here and take a look. In our vehicle type here, in our dropdown, we can see we can have these different choices of the actual ECU type we're working with. In this case, we're gonna to stick to RSX Type S PRB. Now from here, we're gonna move down our list and take a look at what we have here for options. If we move down here, we do have a 04 to 05 TSX high-tech exhaust and high-flow cat engine cold air intake, 45 degree VTC. This might be a reasonable starting point. However, our injectors are gonna be upgraded. Um, we will have much higher compression than a stock K24 engine. We have these high comp pistons in it because the engine did have a, a mild rebuild on it. So this is technically not going to be uh, ideal or not gonna be the exact match to what we have here. So what we're gonna do, just to keep things simple here, I'm gonna move down and grab my option here under our K20 A2 RSX stock tuned dot cal. We see the injectors are 310s, a K20 A2 stock engine. Now I'm gonna start off with this specific file because I wanna go and modify anything and everything anyway, so I'm gonna use this as my base. We do have other options, again, if we kinda of move down here, there's some force induction examples, some examples with cams, but we are not going to use any of those. We are going to use here the K20A2 stock engine, we'll click OK. Now the file has been opened here on my screen, and what we're gonna do immediately is do a file save as and create a new folder for this project. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna to go to file, I'm gonna to go to save as, and we're gonna save this particular file here. We're gonna to go to a new folder and we're gonna call this um, EPA Honda Civic SI K24. So we give it a custom name and we're gonna save our file into that folder. Now I have hundreds and hundreds of folders and files for various different projects I've worked with, with just K-Pro over the years. So we have a big directory built up here. You may not have as many 
obviously many files, within your directory, you probably have none, and you'll be creating your own directory with your own project. If you're gonna be doing this professionally, you definitely wanna keep yourself organized and always save the, a folder for the project you're working with so you not only can save your calibration files, but you also can save your data log files to that specific folder. So if you need to call on any information at a later point in time, you have the data log saved, you have your calibration saved, keep yourself organized, save to a specific folder, and then save to specific file names. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and create that folder, and then I'm going to double click into the folder, and I'm gonna say my file name here, I'll call this base cal. I'm just gonna give it a name, just so I have something as my base that I'm gonna be starting from. So we're gonna go ahead and save this. Now the next thing we're gonna do here is jump into our parameter section, which we're gonna find up here, and start to configure things that are specific for our vehicle. So things like our flex fuel sensor, or our wideband that we've wired in who are here, or the fuel pressure sensor, or the injectors that we have. We have to account for all of that in the parameters. Now we also have all the various tables that we can find in our drop down menu here that we also need to modify and change. We're gonna get into that in the second half of the tutorial. Let's jump in here and let's get into the specifics of the configuration details in our parameter section. So we're gonna jump in here to our parameters right here, click on this little window and allow this to pop up. Now we can go up here to our advanced. Now the first thing I wanna talk about here is going to be our overrun cutoff low cam and high cam. This is going to be the map pressure when we're in decel or overrun conditions, so we're lift throttle and we're allowing the engine to decelerate, where we want the injectors to shut off. So this is going to be the load threshold registered from our map pressure sensor that we're gonna be allowing the injectors to turn off at. Now with bigger injectors, oftentimes it can create some drivability problems if we leave the stock values. What I'm gonna do here because I anticipate having some potential issues with this, I'm gonna do Control J and just set my selected. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.